What's up, YouTube? <laughs> I'm fixing to paint the bumper. I got it all stripped off. But before I paint it, I'm thinking I should put two receivers in the front of it. So uh, that's where it bolts on. So, and it's, it's clear down all the way in there. There's nothing happening in there. So I think I got room to put two receivers on the front of this. <clears throat> and that would make it so if I put a bike rack up here, and it'd be way more stable than just having one in the center. So that's what I'm gonna work on this morning. So there you can see the inside of the bumper. And down here is where it was all bent up, but I pretty much got that hammered back out. There's the mounting area. And out here, if I just keep it two foot apart, it gives me room on the back side to get underneath there and put the pins in for the receivers. So that's the direction I'm going. Okay guys, now you can see the receivers that I put on the bumper there. So I stayed up above this, I don't know if this is a tow bar or what they call it. But I'm up above that and I got myself enough room here to get my hand in here to put the pin in. It's not super convenient but... I don't expect I'll be down here putting pins in these all that often, but it's not that hard to get to. What I gotta do now is tighten these up here, and they're right back where they were. And then these bolts over here will allow me to put the bumper up where it goes in line. So I'll use the jacks to creep that up to where I want it, nice and gentle and then tighten these guys back up. Uh, that's a pretty big gap still. I think I'll push it up a little bit farther. Okay guys, I got that bumper back in there. And I ended up with that. I left a little bit of gap on each corner. There's a little bit of gap over there where before it was smashed up tight over here. And it's still, I let it touch in the middle because 
I don't, you know, I mean, it's just, it's got room to wiggle, but it's right down on there. Because the thing don't seem super strong to me without touching. Uh, and then I got my two receivers in there, my receiver sockets. So there's one, I just put the receiver in there so I could go underneath and show you. It's not terrible to get the pin in. I mean, I can get my hands up in there and stuff. So, it's easier to put it in the other way, but I really like the pin being up. Not something I think I'll use a lot, but when I want it or when I need it, I'm thinking I could put a seat in there, all kinds of cool stuff. So I think that'll uh, do it for the bumper, the front bumper with the receiver sockets in it. Um, I'll do something with these corners later on, but I, I'm, or I can only imagine how much it costs to buy the new plastic ones from Thomas, so I'll probably just fold some simple metal corners and put on those corners. I'll figure that out later. Anyhow, I'm gonna end this video here. Hoping you guys have lots of love in your life and your projects are all sailing the way you want. Take care.